I V M. अचित अचित आज नहीं आएंगे अचित साहब पता है क्यों क्योंकि मैंने दे दिया इनको छुट्टी बहुत ज्यादा बोलता है लड़का मतलब सुनता नहीं और ऐसे भी पीपल हैव मेंशन कि कुरुष के एपिसोड में देर वॉज फर्स्ट टाइम जहाँ पे कुरुष ने ज्यादा बोला है सदफ से तो अगर कुरुष बोल रहे हैं और मैं बोल रहा हूँ तो फिर अच्छे क्या काम है अपने को है कि नहीं तो छुट्टी बाहर रास्ता दिखा दिया गया है इफ यू वॉन्ट अर्चित बैक देन गो ऑन चेंज डॉट ओ आर जी एंड स्टार्ट अपडेशन और ट्वीट एंड से ब्रिंग अर्चित बैक तभी अर्चित वापस आएगा अदरवाइज नहीं आने वाला है खैर आज बड़ी इंटरेस्टिंग सी कॉन्वर्सेशन करेंगे हम स्वीट स्वीट सी कॉन्वर्सेशन हमारी है इस एपिसोड के बाद अगर आपको बहुत जोर सी भूख लगे जो कि इन जनरल भी लगती है मेरे ख्याल से तो उसके जिम्मेदार आप खुद हैं मैं नहीं टू बिगिन विथ और मिठाई की क्रेविंग हुए तो भी आप खुद जिम्मेदार हैं तो एक काम करें फटाफट जिस भी शहर में रहते हो धड़ा धड़ अग्रवाल हल्दीराम बीकानेर जो भी आसपास चलता है या मिठास विठास टाइप का फटाफट मंगा लो अपने हिसाब से और एक काम करना मेरे पास भेजना खैर वी हैव गॉट राजश्री सेन वेलकम राजश्री ऑन आर पॉडकास्ट तो लंबी राजश्री का इंट्रोडक्शन दे देते हैं पहले कि सब जानते हैं ऑलमोस्ट टू बिगिन विथ राजश्री वर्क विथ हयात इंडिया एंड अक्लिम कॉलमिस्ट विथ इकोनॉमिक्स टाइम्स एंड ऑल्सो शी वर्क विद न्यूज लॉन्ड्री फॉर्मली फॉर्मली फम्बल करता हूँ अपनी इंग्लिश बहुत कमजोर है क्लियरली खैर फॉर्मली कम्युनिकेशन एडवाइजर विद फेसबुक एंड हैव बिन कॉलमिस्ट विद स्कूप वूप न्यूज एज वेल और भी बथेरे हैं मिंट है फर्स्ट पोस्ट है वॉल स्ट्रीट जर्नल है बेसिकली वी हैव गॉड अ रियली पढ़ा लिखा इंसान ऐसा नहीं हम किसी को भी लेकर नहीं आते हैं शी ऑल्सो हैड अ फूड वेंचर कॉल्ड ब्राउन साहेब तो हम ब्राउन साहेब के बारे में बात करेंगे एंड रिसेंटली शी इज कम अप विथ अ बुक कॉल द स्वीट किचन सो इफ यू आर वॉचिंग अस ऑन यूट्यूब यू आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू सी दिस बुक इफ नॉट देन आप सुन रहे हो और वी विल पुट दिस बुक इन द शो नोट एज वेल सो गो एड एंड बाई दिस बुक दिस बुक इज अबाउट हिस्ट्री ऑफ फूड यूल फाइंड रेसिपीज ऑफ मेनी फूड सो ऑन दैट नाइस नोट राजश्री वेलकम टू नानकारी पॉडकास्ट थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू पहले तो मतलब छोटते ही यही एक सवाल है कि अच्छा द अदब बाकी लोग के लिए बाकी लोग के लिए मैंने राजश्री को इसलिए बुलाया ना क्योंकि फटाफट देखो शी वर्क फिर हयात तो या तो पॉडकास्ट के एंड होते होते या तो हयात पे एक रूम मिल जाएगा या फिर हयात कंपनी में नौकरी मिल जाएगी ठीक है इनमें से कुछ एक होने वाला है लेट्स सी वॉट हैपन्स ओके राजश्री इकोनॉमिक्स ऑल दिज अदर सीरियस टफ सो टू स्पीक राइट टू वर्ल्डली थिंग्स टू फूड ब्राउन साहेब देन राइटिंग अ फूड हिस्ट्री और स्टोरी बुक ये कैसे आया so i have always written on uh, food as in i was wall street journal's food uh, columnist for years yeah. and uh, so. i actually never cooked till i was 23 so when i left calcutta and i went to bombay to study in sofia and then when i stayed on my own that's when i cooked out of Like I had to, or I'd starve, or I'd get bankrupt. Na, no? in Bombay, you couldn't really at that time be hiring people to cook for you. But in our home, uh, we are big lovers of food and of trying different cuisines. So I've grown up in a home where my grandmother used to work. She was a, uh, she used to do a lot of social work and had a social work organization and so on. But every afternoon we used to have Bengali food at home, and every night there was anything other than Bengali food. So she used to in the evenings after. Now when I think now that we are all working, if you tell me every evening because she did have a choice, we had two uh, like all good Bengali homes. There were like two cooks and all, but she would. cook the dinner and teach the cooks and all and so we'd have malaysian food one day we'd have iranian food one day and really good food so i'm used to experiment with food so i think that's the reason why i uh, have a love for food so like and from a young age like she'd make me taste the food and she'd say is it tasting nice and you know like you start identifying ingredients and all that that has been part of uh, the way i've been brought up and then when i was 30 i set up brown sahib and i set it up i took a loan from the bank i set it up by myself they i didn't have another partner or anything and i set it up in delhi in uh, saket 
as they say in uh, sakit i said it up which might not have been a good idea because rents were so high now when i think i was 30 at that point i thought i was very smart and all and uh, that brown sahib was actually my sort of tribute to calcutta cuisine so it was called brown sahib as a dig at bengalis because we are like little sahibs we think we are so a lot of people think that i'm actually saying it in a very honest way but no i'm being sarcastic and making fun of the fact that sahibs if you like a coconut but if you break us open we are brown outside and white inside or we at least hope so but the food was all calcutta food so the entire menu was bengali and anglo indian food what we call okay so that's why brown sahib happened and i ran it for around 4 years and then i so i used to work in a pr agency i have a journalism and pr background so i left my very uh, stable successful pr job and i did this and then after that i got back again into pr and journalism and uh, but i also run a catering outfit called food for thought which has the same cuisine basically so yeah so that carries on so that's where my interest for food and you know also i think some of these recipes and all if you don't they are made at home so if you don't start selling them or popularizing them they will die out because most of us most people don't have the time to cook itself right so i thankfully had a lot of these recipes from my grandmom and from my family even my extended family we have this bit you can make out from some of our sizes we are a little potty <laughs> <laughs> so we have the bengali roundedness is there <laughs> so that's so, a new term bengali yeah, roundedness so i got these recipes from the family and also that was the so even my uh, catering thing has a lot of recipes which you won't find these in restaurants okay so that's the thing that's the history of my food connection and all these so uh, one of the times i was doing research on food and i went out it was basically on breads and i was writing for mint and i went out to a bunch of the places and uh, i met these bread makers interestingly okay. all the bread maker that i made afghan bengali no no not bengali that's something thank god <laughs> uh, all the bread makers in all the bread maker shops right so be it in uh-huh. dwani delhi mehroli uh, lajpat for mm. afghans malwa nagar khirki extension sector etc all the places had the owners from delhi or somewhere but all the uh, bhatiyar or the bread makers were uh-huh. bihar were from bihar it- Because so, they're the most hardworking, na? No? Correct. But so, in in your case, do you have the Bihar people cooking or the Bengal people? I cooking? had the Bengalis, which is another headache because Bengalis men especially are the laziest people in the world, and all Bengalis, including women, think they know best. So you can say, see, this is the recipe. But very often, I'd get a dish where I'd say, but this is not the recipe which I showed you, and he'd say, no, but. I think it tastes better like this, and you're like, no, no, this is not like I don't want to kill your creativity. But I'm saying that I'm serving a certain kind of crab, say a stuffed crab. You can't stuff it differently, like because day before someone's come and ordered that crab, right? It can't be two days. So working with, so there were lots of learnings from this restaurant. One is dealing with. the north indian landlord mall manager and all because i was a single woman so you know and you will shamelessly cops will come and ask you for bribes it's almost uh, institutionalized ma'am if you have 40 seat cover this is the bribe you have to pay so okay. i would not pay then after four months they come and say ma'am aap de hi dijiye seal to karna padega aap de do ab <laughs> so then my manager would say ma'am you have to like you can't stop as from we'll, because they can't seal you on the 24th of december yeah you know they'll take your music system or something some shit like this will happen correct so correct. one was that and the other was dealing with these bengali staff who are all male right because it's very rarely that you i finally towards the end i had got a woman who was the main chef okay. but uh, she was bengali trained and all that but Dealing with Bengali staff is a totally different. Also, everyone has to sleep in the afternoon. In that is why it's about to uh, come to that yeah. point as well because everybody still sleeps on uh, yeah. nice. From, they from have to enjoy the afternoon. From two to four thirty, they'll be sleeping. So if you come for lunch, then they are not in a good mood. Correct. Few things you cannot change. Yeah, exactly. Whether wherever you are. <laughs> awesome. So now coming into other things that you have written in your book as well. But before that, hmm. 
is how important is to talk about mm-hmm. or write history of food is it something important i think it's very important to write about raj akshay kumar has told us history is very important correct very important right he had said this now once akshay kumar says so then that's what life is we all about we have to agree so on that simple taking taking from what akshay kumar has said yeah i no i think history is very important to document because the way the world is nowadays that whole thing of even referring to books of refer everything's just fast paced and you're online and no one's really bothered about the roots or antecedents of things and everyone has their own interpretation so unless you document what is actually factual mm-hmm, mm-hmm. document and it it is going to disappear and the person who writes the history is the person who basically the person who rules writes the history we don't want that to happen right so correct, correct. and i also think with food like i was telling you before we started recording with sweets it's very odd that i did not find and it's not that i did not look hard enough that's why i did not find it but there is no one documented history of and given a country like india which has so many types of sweets mm-hmm. that there's and so many historians and culinary historians there is no one documented history of food correct so you'll have a biryani say you'll have a documented mm-hmm. history maybe a one dish you'll have but even for that for indian sweets i didn't find that so not that this is a definitive history of it but it's as much as i could compile and from conversations i've had with people as well and all and put down some sort of reference point because some of the stories are very interesting Correct. you know how some things come about so <laughs> that's the i think it's very important to have history documented and written down and talked about as well and talked about right but how do you break it down for people like your book the one thing that i liked and i was telling somebody 3 4 days back as well mm-hmm. saying it's the style of writing is a is something which i sort of relate with because mm-hmm. it's simple it's not really fancy jargony jibber yeah. jabber uh, so how do you talk about history of food in general with people no so i think i'm just one of those people it's the same see i talk about history of food someone else who uh, reads a certain kind of literature or a certain kind of is interested in a certain kind of uh, automobile say mm-hmm. would have done the research and over time you've just garnered information and i think it's more my writing style is the way i talk it's conversational Okay. it's not very preachy and like oh, pedantic that kind of like one lecture is being given because yeah. you know i'm policy doing that <laughs> but i think so that like if you can keep a conversation going with people about it, and you will really find the most odd people are interested in finding out like oh is this ingredient used why is this ingredient used so when you're saying why is it important to talk about the history of food also you know it will be that one ingredient which is not unique to india that how has saffron suddenly become or how did dried nuts suddenly become so popular in a place like even bengal we doesn't use dried nuts and dried fruits and dried nuts so as you look at these little little tidbits of information there's a lot there's always a story behind it which will come out correct correct yeah and i think that's important stories are important yeah. and in the very beginning of the book itself uh, you mentioned that I mean, this is your line. Uh, food is way of life, right? But why and what if it is not? No, but I think that's for each person. It depends. Food is yeah. a way of life for me. Like I, to me, cooking and feeding friends and people and calling people home and having them sit down at my dining table is very important. I think it's the nicest way of showing affection. Sure. to people that you are opening up your house to them i feel food opens up conversations the way many other things don't they all it also brings people together like if we put a plate sure. of biryani in front of the bjp and we call some congress people there and some trinamool people if it's good biryani everyone will sit down and eat and have an argument maybe later over it but they will enjoy that food like food just brings i think it's an if any of our political parties get into something as simple as should we be eating biryani if we are so anti islam anti or anti communities bangladeshis are horrible we are going to send every that 75% of me is bangal is also so i should also be like half <laughs> there 
then stop eating sweets from bengal let's see any going by the size of our politician someone is eating a lot of sweets for sure right I think most of us are yeah so <laughs> i just feel that food just breaks down barriers hmm. Hmm. you can use it to build barriers but when you get down to brass tacks it does break down barriers ha huh. no that's interesting because for me i think it does both uh eight sort of breaks down the barrier but also for everybody it's like ye tumhara khana ye mera khana mera khana best hai we often look uh, like mostly the north indians we would look down upon the south indian food south would look down yeah. upon the north we all south and north collectively will look down upon the north eastern cuisine yeah. right <laughs> so <laughs> it's really interesting how but also we would like to go and eat the food at least somebody like me yeah. who really experiment all the way ki nahi dekha jaye kya hai kya nahi hai so i don't know i mean that's that's exactly what i said that is it a food like way of life for you or should it be in general no i so a, a friend of mine says this he said you live to eat ha huh. i i don't do that like if there's good food it's fine but it's not like oh from meal to meal so i do think meal to meal hmm. not like oh now i've had this for lunch <laughs> so what you know what will i have so i've had this problem since i was a child my parents uh-huh. used to say your eyes and i was a really skinny child because we always used to be out right playing sports and all that but we did okay. quite a bit but metabolism was very good at that point but my parents used to say your eyes are bigger than your stomach Uh-huh. which is a problem so it's for me food is a way of life i do think that food can bring people together that is something i strongly believe but yeah. i don't think it has to be food has to be a way of life for everyone sure i mean to each and yeah. yeah. jc mazi but don't tell me what to eat my point is that you yeah. eat what you want i'll eat what i want and uh-huh. as long as i'm not i'm not forcing you to eat meat don't make me eat paneer This really upsets me when people make me eat paneer. <laughs> like really, True. no one should uh, eat paneer according to me. I remember I was working with one of the restaurants in uh, GK, oh. and um, all veg restaurant, right? And uh, so we were working on the menu, and I said, you know what? Because uh, they wanted to, hey, let's add paneer. I said, paneer, I will think about when there's nothing else left on the menu. That's all. All like so. Here's the thing: as a, I am a meat lover. I hmm. I eat meat, right? But if you look at the meat segment. in general you have got chicken mutton fish fish the most uncontroversial non controversial whatever word you oh yeah right? yeah that's what i was going to say there are others but you are not naming ha, but, the ha, but just this this yet kisi ko tik takleef nahi in cheezon se um but when it comes to vegetables there are like plethora of options right yeah but ghoom phir ke humne serve karna hai paneer so like this is a daily thing you have noticed everything you bina veg paneer order kar are order some other vegetable yeah but there's nothing else in the restaurant there is there. nothing that's the only problem so um, you have paneer you have yeah paneer so food paneer. is a way of life but paneer should never be a way of life this, i think i should <laughs> make this my twitter <laughs> handle now paneer is not a way of life ha huh. yeah way of life correct correct um uh, not a way of life said that so you also as you just mentioned uh, you also work with hayat when you work with them do you get to eat hayat's free I food as well i just keep working <laughs> there are person. no free lunches sure. in this world so uh, yeah. but they also paying you that's so what you the point the is go and buy the buy. food if you want to eat it huh? so <laughs> sadly no free lunches in this world so people who are interested in uh, working yeah, with the hotels yeah if you are going to get free meals you are not getting free meals for sure खुद का घर से खुद का चावल दाल लेके जाना पड़ेगा ऐसे कोई ऑप्शन नहीं है कुछ तो पानी तो मिलता होगा फिर इफ आई गो टू द होटल ना आई एम इन द ऑफिस अच्छा तब तो वही बॉटल आई कैन टेक माय बॉटल वाटर टू द दिस थिंग टू हाइट्स एनी ऑफ देयर होटल्स हां सबकी जिंदगी खराब है ऐसे सो नाउ कमिंग टू द बुक पार्ट स्वीट किचन वी स्टार्ट विद व्हाट इज योर रिलेशनशिप विद शुगर सो आई डोंट ईट टू मेनी इंडियन स्वीट्स I can pick and choose the ones like because there are such few uh, because I find a lot of Indian sweets too sweet like I find it too sugary and sweet so I don't so forget Indian sweets I won't uh, there's a very well known Middle Eastern sweet called baklava which is you know it has it's like uh, what would you say uh, puff pastry layers and it has dried fruit and it has sugar syrup which people love. 
I had a bite once. I thought I would just pass out. It was so sweet, absolutely, because it's soaked. Every layer is soaked in sugar syrup. So I don't like very sugary sweets, but I love like if you give me a good dessert, a Burmese dessert, I will try it. And uh, I love dessert. I love baking. So I bake a lot of stuff like cakes and pastries and pies. I make a lovely bhappa doy, of course. And uh, I made all the sweets, the recipes. So the reason why there are fewer recipes in this book is one, it was not meant to be a recipe book. But I also wanted to put recipes of dishes which I find it easy to make at home because Indian sweets are not that easy to make, as easy as like cakes and all. And and also I feel you get Indian sweets for at such a cheap price, really good Indian sweets at the Mithai shop. You'd have to be an idiot to spend one hour making it, no? Go and buy your laddus over there. It's like in Cal. People don't make shandesh at home. You just go and you buy and you get such a wide range of really good shandesh for like five rupees, two rupees. So I just, but I'm not a big fan of Indian sweets or like I'm saying these Middle Eastern sweets, which are very like, you know, they have sugar syrup, they have rose water. I find it a little overpowering the flavors. But the interesting part I find with Indian sweets is that you'll have like some oddities, right? You'll only have chana, what we call cottage cheese in uh, Bengal, which is made at home. Our sweets use chana. Chana is not used anywhere else in India. So all whether it's your rasgulla or whether it this thing, sandesh, all of it is made with chana. Then some places will use coconut, some places won't, because it's not a local ingredient for some parts of uh, the country. So, you know, that part I find very interesting. And whenever I go somewhere, I will taste the sweet. I might I, not have the whole thing, though. I have only one theory for, I love Bengali sweet and I love sweets. Also, the word that you used, which is too overtly sweet. Uh, there's a friend of mine, he uses this word, but I copy his word, which is called zahirila mitha. Uh, ah. <laughs> Which it's is really, too sweet, which yeah. is baklava is little too, and I don't like baklava for the exact yeah, reason. So I just, and every, like the first time I went to Dubai, I was like, must try the baklava there. And I was like, God, I almost died at the airport, I think, when I put it. And you don't yeah. want to be rude also, no? when you're biting into this thing, but it's so, so sweet. But that it, the odd thing is like, I like sweet, like I can't have coffee or tea without either sweetener or with sugar, without sugar. Hmm. I like, if I have a drink also, I need it to be a sweet drink. I like things sweet, but I don't know when it comes to some sweet preparations, I find it a little overpowering that entire uh, feeling that you get when you bite into it. So in general, you've got a love relationship with sweet sugar. Yeah. But not too much. Like, yeah. ki it's, hai. Nahi hai. <laughs> it's everything is in moderation. Correct. That's something. Intiha nahi hai. Hey, pyaar mahabat hai. Zada nahi. Zada hi bilkul se gul. Zada gulu gulu nahi hai. Like Khalil Gibran said, there must be space in our togetherness. Exactly. That's exactly the. Point. I believe that. With with Bengali mithai, I always I love Bengali mithai. I was saying, but there's only one definition for the whole of Bengali mithai apart from Shandesh, which is chana. Mm. Chana ke upar cream. There's something else. Chana ke niche cream. It is called something else. Chana 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 ke beech mein cream. It is called something else. <laughs> We fry the chana also. Fry chana, put cream, it is called something yeah. else. So, it's there essentially many, huh. many, many versions of chana cream, chana cream, chana cream. Yeah. And for some odd reason. We also make savory food with chana. Huh? So, we'll make like chana ka sabzi also. Oh, I didn't. So, like paneer, but it's huh. more crumbly basically. Correct, correct. Wow. That's the only thing. That so, I we know. use a lot of chana. It's very good. Chan chan ke bate hai. Hi, uh, itti mithai mithai ke bate kar liye mene. Um, मुझे लग गई है थोड़ी भूख तो मैं जा रहा हूं ब्रेक लेने और थोड़ा मैं मिठाइयों को ऑर्डर कर देता हूं बिकॉज़ तुम लोगों ने ऑर्डर किया नहीं है ब्रेक के बाद मिलते हैं वापस से मिठाई पे आते हैं हेलो 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 एवरीबॉडी वेलकम टू अनदर ग्रेट वीक ऑन द आईवीएम पॉडकास्ट नेटवर्क ऑन थिंक फास्ट वरुण और सुचिता डिस्कस रेवलॉन फाइलिंग फॉर बैंक्रप्सी एंड सोनी लिव सक्सेस स्टोरी On Cyrus says Cyrus was not there with us this week because he's vacationing in Spain. Ayushi Sriram Antrik and Abbas however discuss airline etiquette and gifts they're given to their exes. On the wire talks author Aparna Piramal Raja tells us how she coped with bipolar disorder. 
on Press Decode, Sarah Bagda and Prafula take a look at the porn industry. And on Big Talks About Tiny Humans, Devi Shobha and Meghna discuss four major parenting styles. Just a reminder to everybody, the IVM merchandise is now available. You can go to the IVM podcast website and click on the shop tab. Check out our first collection of t-shirts. Also, do follow us on social media. We're IVM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And I'd like to remind you all that it is really, really helpful for us when you do recommend this show or any of our other shows to a friend. Word of mouth is great for us, and it's really a great way for us to grow our audience and have more people for you to discuss your podcast consumptions with. Also, don't forget to rate us on any platform you're listening on, and you can also check us out on YouTube at ivmpodcast.com slash YouTube. We have a list of the YouTube channels we are on. And finally, we'd like to thank our sponsors this week, Cap Gemini, Intel VPro, and Intel Future Banal Wonderful. Thank you so much for making this possible. आ गए भाई ब्रेक से आज पता है इतनी शांति है ना इस कॉन्वर्सेशन में इस पॉडकास्ट में बीच में कोई ऐसे अचित कहीं कुछ नहीं है बस दो लोग आपस में गप्पे मार रहे हैं और मीठी मीठी बातें कर रहे हैं ओहो क्या मजा आ रहा है ऐसे ही कर लेते हैं पॉडकास्ट में बता रहा हूँ जरूरत ही नहीं अचित की जाए तेल लेने <laughs> नहीं तेल लेने गया वो कुछ और काम करने गया हाँ क्या गया मिठाई लेने मिठाई लेने गया करेक्ट मिठाई लेने गया मिठाई लेने गया अगले हफ्ते फिर बात करते हैं खैर सो राज वेलकम बैक हमारे इस पे फ्रॉम फूड थोड़ा सा साइड निकलते हैं मेरा एक बचपन का सपना है जो जवानी में बना है <laughs> वो सपना ये है कि लाइक दे आर टू स्पेसेस राइट एंड वी इन अ वे पुट पीपल इन बॉक्सेस कि अरे तुम तो खाने पे लिखते हो या फिर खाने पे काम करते हो तुम वही करो या फिर तुम पॉलिटिक्स से बात करते हो तुम वही करो या फिर तुम हथौड़ा चलाते हो तुम हथौड़ा चलाओ तो दर इज़ ओनली वन बॉक्स बट लुकिंग एट योर करियर लुकिंग एट द वे यू हैव वर्क इन द पास्ट इट does multiple things right under maybe the same ambit but yeah. you do multiple things including what i was saying about uh, working in sort of politics not working politics writing mm. politics and food both right <laughs> um, one name i could think of is v sangvi mm. who switches really easily and nobody mm. really questions him nobody says hey v tumne ya khana pe dhyan do ya yeah. fir when he writes about food uh, sorry politics he like are khana pe. nobody says so that's a very smooth thing and that's yeah for people like me or as well as you sir interested i am not able to do it but how do people like you switch between these two without getting judgments so i no no i get sometimes from the uh, right wingers when they are pissed off with me then they'll say oh but she writes on um, she makes no she doesn't say makes food they aren't that regressive but near enough they get to that she to writes on food and she like why are we listening to her so my point is you don't need to listen who has told you to listen to me why are you getting so worked up but as such i have not faced this uh, criticism ever also because my background as i was saying i used to be first post when first post was created founded i was the columnist from that time on uh, so i don't write on hardcore politics i write on political influence on gender social issues uh, uh, pop culture so i would so while i do and i write slightly funnier pieces it won't be a very very serious piece on politics like i remember i had written on uh, the thackeray's ones then about this whole thing about you know how certain politicians always have camera crews when they are going to meet their family members it's a little odd that even we go to meet our family members na huh? however famous i was i can't imagine me saying ramu bhaiya aap se picture lena theek se aana chahiye so it's a little odd like why are you doing these things so huh. i write on things that happen in politics but i will not write on hardcore politics so if rahul gandhi has given an interview remember he gave his first interview after really long to one channel i forgot and now and i wrote about the fact that his answers were non answers basically for one hour he spoke and like no one knows what he said in those because he said nothing at all in those so my background is actually on writing on pop culture politics gender issues and sort of how they all come together and food came a little after that so yeah. i think that is why uh, and then even for food i used to write for wall street journal right so while i had the restaurant and all i did write for wall street journal so i think because of written on all these topics for a while i'm mm-hmm. very old also sure. so that's also there <laughs> that i've done this for a while so maybe that's why 
people don't question it. And at one point, there was that internet boom which happened with first post came up, Mint had Lime Mint. So there were a lot of options on what to write on, what not to write on. Mm -hmm. And also, I just like wearing a lot of hats. So I, it's a good thing. Yeah, Make sure I always have a job. That's also true. <laughs> I can't do this. Sir, I can do that also. Like. Yep. ये लीजिए सर मेन्यू कार्ड लीजिए आपको जो वाला पसंद आप उठा लीजिए आप देखिए आपको क्या पसंद है बता दीजिए सब कर लूंगी सर आप पैसे तो पैसे बात करो कितना दो हां पर रेट्स भी आप देख लीजिए अच्छा ऐसे रेट भी है ये ये करने का 500 रुपए ये करने का 1000 रुपए अंदेश के लिए 20 रुपए खाली हां आई वाज आई वाज रीडिंग समवेयर एक्चुअली नॉट रीडिंग सो रीडिंग बाद में आया था अभी कुछ दिन पहले आई वाज इन लखनऊ एंड आई वाज डूइंग लाइक अ बुक रिसर्च के लिए गया था मैं तो एक बड़ा इंटरेस्टिंग सी जगह है हाजी समथिंग हिज नेम इज एज इन दुकान का नाम है ये है आपको नकाश के पास में तो दोनों साइड के सेम ही दुकानें हैं दोनों के नाम है हाजी है हाजी समथिंग वहाँ क्या होता है इंटरेस्टिंग ये है कि आप को दस रुपये की मिठाई मिलेगी वहाँ पे और हज़ार रुपये की मिलेगी अगर लखनऊ में मुहजम का सल हो रहा है तो मुहजम की मजलिसें होती हैं या फिर किसी भी तरीके का फातहा या फिर शाम को गेट टुगेदर है तो यहाँ से मिठाइयाँ आ जाती हैं और इंटरेस्टिंग पार्ट ये है कि दस रुपये की मिलती है बट वो क्या करते हैं ना कि यू गो टू हेम एंड कि भैया दस रुपये का ही मिठाई चाहिए तो okay. अगर लड्डू मिल रहा है आपको लड्डू उसमें से निकाला और देन कहीं से निकाला वो वापस वापस बना दिया तो एग्जैक्टली तो दैट रिमाइंडेड मी कि इन वे इट वॉज सिमिलर टू कैलकटा बिकॉज कैलकटा में यू के पांच रुपए का शॉन्देश मिल जाएगा आपको और पूरा डब्बा भी मिलेगा एग्जैक्टली कि मुझे इतना सही चाहिए सिंगल सर्विंग चाहिए तो मुझे डब्बा क्यों लेके आऊच इज ग्रेट लाइक दैट फॉर थिंग अगर इफ आई गो टू राइट नाउ टू हल्दी राम से कि है मुझे ना तो या तो एक सिंगल पीस देगा या फिर बोलेगा देगा ही नहीं बट हियर आई से दस रुपए का तो दस रुपए में सिंगल पीस भी नहीं आएगा ना उसका भी आधा आया था बट ही लाइक टेस्टिंग में नो ही लाइक कि का ये जो गुड ओल्ड स्कूल जो दुकानें हैं एंड दैट समथिंग कैलकटा में भी है ऐसे दुकानें जहाँ पे टेस्टिंग मेन्यू के नाम पे आपको दस रुपए का सामान मिल जाएगा Our listeners understand English, I believe. No, but I just say people should not think I'm being rude or something, because I'm a very nice person as well. I've guessed by now. Because she is not rude. She is nice. Person. She's a nice person. Yeah. Sorry. Certified nice person. Certified. 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 Certified.
Jharkhand has a very good That's not that's what I was just thinking because I was just thinking Shit, I have not written about any sweet from Jharkhand. Do teen hai, do teen jo mef ek to thikwa the Ha. Then there's second is khaja. Uh khaja is similar to khajla or uh ha I think Bangal also has it. Ah, uh, but we call it something else. Gaja, gaja, gaja. Gaja, gaja, yeah. Correct. So it's thing. that slightly hard fried, but it's sugary. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's eating it sugary, obviously. Haan. It's Haan. on top sugar, like Haan. nice sugar coating. Yeah, yeah. It's called gaja. Haan. 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 Then you have got uh, murki, so it is chena murki. Haan. Which I think is a very Bengal influence, not a necessarily yeah. Jharkhand Bihar thing. Then we have got palwal mithai, again very much influence. So we have that Bengal. also. Haan. So I think it's an influence from Bengal. Yeah. Then what else is there? There's one dish which my mother used to make, which is very similar to Bengal's, and I don't remember. This is really tiny. Uh, I don't remember the name of like it. Like laddus. No, not laddus. It's, it, it's dipped in uh, zabadi type ka saman. It's like chhotu. That's ch- my life. Similar, but not that. Uh, something okay. payasham type ka banta hai. It's just called Rasho Malai. That's why you think it's different. No, no, not Rasho. That's what you're saying with the Bong accent. <laughs> Not that. Like, what is it called? It's a tiny, tiny one. But it's so, a small one. I know. I know. No, it is. It's like a what you make it out of is atta. So atta ka pasta type one. That where you basically uh-huh. really you take little bit atta in your middle of your finger and then you just like give it like a shape, uh, okay. like a cylindrical, right? And then you poach in in milk, um, which is Jharkhand thing. But I'm I have had this in yeah, uh, check this Bengal out, as well. Ha. Very very nice. It's it's really because it's like a one meal in total because you uh-huh. got the milk, you got the mithas, and then you got the yeah. roti. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So you got roti, dud, sab mil gaya. Yeah. So that's what I usually love. All, ye char panch to hai confirm. <laughs> char panch to confirm. Bundia, <laughs> bundia. How can you forget bundia? Bundia. So that we have in Bengal. Bodhi it's Haan. called. Which Bode. is what I thought you were referring to first. No. So Jharkhand me, bada interesting hai, which is called uh, save bundia. So save is your uh, mota wala sevai jo aata. No, hmm. not sevaiya. Gatte ke saath jo aate hain patle patle. Uh, okay, ha. Huh. Besan ke jo bande hain. Uh, hmm. So that's salty, and then you club it with bunia, which is bundia, but they call it huh. bunia. Uh, oh. So it's a nice combination. It's like beautiful for your prasad vagya. Me je milta hai usually, hmm. but otherwise just nice evening snack. Meetha and namkeen together. Oh, best. So Delhi me, Ayne market me hai. जो बिहार का शॉप उसमें मिलता है सो देन आई आई शुड गो एंड चेक बिकॉज़ गो टू टू डू माय शॉपिंग फॉर माय केटरिंग एंड ऑल दैट गुड़गांव से या आई गो आई गो वंस अ वीक या टू डू ऑल माय वेरी मच डेडिकेटेड तो डेडिकेशन रिमाइंड मी कि हाउ डू यू थिंक द फूड क्योंकि योर बुक हैज ऑल्सो टॉक्ट अबाउट डिफरेंट काइंड फूड इट चेंजेस इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ पीपल यू हैव ऑल्सो टॉक्ट अबाउट द ग्रेट मोगल्स इन योर बुक बट हाउ डू यू थिंक दैट द पीपल ऑल द रूलर्स डायनेस्टीज इन्फ्लुएंस द वे पीपल ईट एंड देर ईटिंग हैबिट्स शुड देयर बी एन इन्फ्लुएंस एज वेल गुड और बैड बात की बात है बट शुड देयर बी इन्फ्लुएंस No, so I think what you see in the influences on more traditional foods that are there in India is that compared to now, what our rulers, our political leaders uh, do is earlier there was no banning of anything. You, if a ruler liked a certain kind of, uh, like if someone like halwa, then halwa, like there were eight different types of halwa being made in that. uh dynasty at that point if someone like firni then there were five types of firni being made but nothing was ever banned that you want like just because a ruler did not like i'm sure akbar and all also did not like certain foods and sweets but no one was told now you can't make that because the ruler does not like it so i think that is where the influence would be the positive influence is that because you are uh, at that point a king or even our politicians who behave like kings uh, and queens that you have a repertoire like a kitchen full of chefs at your service you have unlimited resources so if you want to develop a certain kind of cuisine you have the money and the wherewithal to do that which maybe say if i want to promote bengali food there's only so much i can do for it right But in today's world, like if Mamata Banerjee wants to promote mangoes, Bengal's mangoes, 
she will send baskets which she does she sends big all mangoes to modi and all also who might not want to eat those mangoes but he's getting a basket from her he loves yeah, mangoes he loves yeah mangoes. so yeah he loves mangoes as we akshay kumar again my i'm to going to get akshay kumar's face <laughs> cat you know you should be chair but because he is the next book will be with the blessings of akshay kumar upar mein likhana chahiye he was yeah, a cook also exactly it's so many things are dovetailing together it's too much no so i just feel that rulers can have a very positive influence on spreading the good word about whichever cuisine or dish or ingredient passes their fancy catches their fancy okay and ideally you should be like that instead of being the other way where you say i don't like this so no one can eat it now so that is the thing which i think the influence of like use your influence for good no in this at least So this is also the right line for all the Instagram influencers. <laughs> yes, use your influence for good. Influencers, good influencers. I call them influencers. Yeah, most of us do, including yeah. me. <laughs> yeah. uh. Back to your book, yes. and uh, this is our last question before we get into our yes. favorite segment, which we like to believe it is our favorite, which is that again. your book talks about all the sweet eating and offerings different culture has indian culture has mm. but why do you think india as a nation is obsessed with mithai i remember a couple of days back actually not days back months back i was talking to uh, chef atul kocher and uh, about mithai only and he said ki mm. hum to na ghar bhi wahan dhoondte hain jahan baju mein halwai ho matlab as as hindustani now he lives in london but as hindustani ghar bhi wahan dhune ya baju mein halwai hai so why what is this thing with obsession of mithai also we serve mithai at everything yes at the birth of a child if you if something good happens also mithai is served at shraddhs at funerals and all also there will at the wake so in a bengali shraddh ho which is that on the 11th day i get this wrong it might be 13th day i think it's 11th day huh. but sweets will be served so huh. sweet is integral food might not be served other food huh. but sweets are there for everything and there's a sweet again for at every price point also right so if you're if you're saying like i can only afford the 5 rupees sweet you will get that also Correct. i don't know i think it's just we clearly have a very sweet tooth because some other countries if you go to they will at most of two sweets which are common to the entire country but we are also a country of so many people and so many communities na so if each community has one sweet of their own we when anyway we filled it up with at least 120 sweets Correct. so i think that's also a flip side of the fact that we are such a largely populated country huh. other americas will have what they'll have three big maybe you'll have okay the american indians are there you will have americans itself and you will have some latin americans say. and good jews and good jews <laughs> are there everywhere Correct. okay and bangladeshis and bangladeshis let's not forget of course and but there'll be one one sweet or oh, just look at the number of communities we have no so if each community has one special sweet they make correct not done for you have enough and we have to taste the other communities just so that we can tell them that no our sweet is better than your sweet that is always true that is also there are many things driving this love for sweets in yeah. india <laughs> yeah so we are a sweet nation in general i would yes. like to believe that <laughs> i hope awesome. so <laughs> i hope so i hope so yeah. now so uh, on bengali cuisine we uh, there's a friend of ours uh, called bilal uh, okay. he is in he is from karachi uh, he is a doctor by profession but otherwise hmm. he's an influencer as well uh he's <laughs> an influencer know. also ha huh, but i don't know how it works i have asked him but how does it work cuz i have only seen him doing influencer stuff i have never seen him doing doctor thing so he doctor said yeah he said acha to agar doctor hai to matlab stethoscope leke baitha rahega aadmi <laughs> so uh, he was telling us all about the mithai is on, on that side of the border and he also talks about bengali mithaiyan uh, which hmm. is popular there as well because of course uh, the yeah. pre partition and then pre liberation uh, the mithaiya which uh, still there and cooked by uh, made by all the bengalis there yeah yeah handful yeah, hai lekin hai ha awesome awesome okay to aakhri segment hai bhai bahut controversial hota hai hmm bahut aaj tak hame is cheez ke liye kabhi dhamki nahi mili hai lekin ha controversial hai <laughs> kisi ne hame ban nahi kiya lekin hai <laughs> to controversial hai <laughs> sorry not controversial Uh-huh. we get into our favorite as a your favorite not our favorite our uh-huh. 
your favorite mithai would be if you have to pick one mithai और जिंदगी जिंदगी खाना इंडियन स्वीट राइट पे पे नहीं कुछ भी दो एनी वन मिठाई जो जिंदगी भर खानी है इरेस्पेक्टिव इरेस्पेक्टिव यहाँ पे इंडियन विदेशी की बात नहीं कर रहे देन इट वुड हैव टू बी सम सॉर्ट ऑफ माय माउथ इज वाटरिंग सम सॉर्ट ऑफ फ्रेंच डिजर्ट आई थिंक लाइक अ क्रेम शू विच इज लाइक अ पफ Yes. Which is filled with that sweet cream or a chocolate cream, like a creme chou or something, Correct. or a really nice ribbed chocolate cake, a really no. nice for me. One is allowed, boy. Two, two, what? Actually, rich chocolate cake. Rich chocolate, rich chocolate. Ami will like it, absolutely. Gali ball will like it. Very, very Anglo. <laughs> very Anglo. Yeah, very Anglo. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> For people uh, who got confused with why Rajshri loves shoe, it is not S H O E shoe. Juto ki baat nahi hoti. C H O U X shoe. That one, the so fancy wala. Yeah. Angrej, because everyone white is angrej for us. So uh-huh. angrej jo ne bola jute to nahi khayenge, to uska naam change karo, to shoe kar diya. So ye baat hui thi. Khair. One, ab hum aate hain Bengali dishes par. One overrated, absolute overrated Bengali dish. Ah, mithai, not dish, mithai. So many, I think. <laughs> no, I <have> so many. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, I don't say rush, rush Malai. What people outside Bengal say, but chana paish. It's called chana paish. Chana paish, correct. Yeah. That's a small one, right? The small one, yeah. Chana, yeah. Chana, yeah. But it's with the like. It's not. I don't like the same stuff. stuff. Oh, oh. Gelu hmm. or the uh, <laughs> underrated? Underrated, I think bhapa doi. Oh, it's underrated. Under because people don't really unless you're in someone's house, mm-hmm. bhapa doi isn't really made in restaurants that much. Correct. Oh wait, wait! I'll tell you, underrated is bode. You know that what you get in bo- bundi? It's called I think mm-hmm. called mm-hmm. bode because mm-hmm. very few people would buy that. They'll buy shandesh, they'll buy something else, but it's really quite nice. So bode is the bada wala. Oh, the chota wala, and they are ah. different colors, red, yellow, and all. Huh. You know, oh. it, and you just—that's what you, you don't have it with anything else. You can buy like so. bode. Go to the market and ask for bode. Awesome. Abhi jayenge. मतलब अगले हफ्ते अभी नहीं. Perfect. Awesome. And one last thing. Uh, if people have to book you, book your book or pick book up your book. book, book your book. Um, what is one? We all have one favorite chapter. Okay. I know this fact. <laughs> We all. So, which one is one your favorite? Or for it could be because of the story, or it could be because of the recipe. I guess. Okay, let me look at it. Let me re huh. re revisit. Revisit. Change myself with all the. Huh. I'll tell you the ones with the one which I had the most fun writing would be. Uh, okay, the one where I learned the most. Let's put it was halwa. Oh, yeah, halwa, the Arab who spread onto the Indian plate because the influences on halwa are so much, yeah, and so many, and the different kinds of halwa. Like even when I was read reading up on it, the kind of kinds of halwa you get in India outside, and that you get so many kinds of halwa outside India. I just found it fascinating. Absolutely. Which one would be your favorite halwa? I don't eat halwa, <laughs> but. <laughs> But I did have the kala gajar ka halwa, oh, nice. which I thought was really nice because it's not that sweet. Yes, it's not. And you unless, get it in Lucknow. Yes, unless you make it sweet, so sweet will be good. Yeah, like, but it wasn't the one I had. Wasn't that as uh, rich as like gajar ka halwa can be very rich? More than sweet, it can be quite rich, right? Correct, so correct. that's the uh, huh. yeah. That's my favorite uh, halwa. Well, in winter, yeah. that's my favorite halwa as well. Yeah. Beshalmo, get the plug in. Call it out for people who would yeah. like to have more knowledge about halwa. हमने halwa पे podcast किया. Show note पे link डाल देंगे. या फिर आप scroll up कर लेना. अपने हिसाब से halwa मिल जाएगा. खैर. हाँ, लखनऊ का गाजर halwa, काला गाजर halwa बहुत ही popular है. I love it. It's And it's very interesting. The taste is interesting. It's not like the usual that you get. That's the next thing. Do you also know about the safed gajal halwa? Yes, and it's mentioned in the book also. Perfect. That's yeah. for that's for the trick part. Uh, yeah. Somebody asked me uh, when you said I don't eat halwa, right? Uh, someone asked me that which one, which chapter is your favorite from your book? And I said pan ka. And they said, oh, so do you? Which pan do you like? I said I don't uh-huh. like pan. 
As I said, just because I'm writing a book on <laughs> history, I don't have to be free. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, देखो पार ना कंसेप्ट अच्छा है. Yeah. It's a very nice Ganga Jamuni Tehzeeb ka. Yeah. लेकिन मेरे को पान पसंद नहीं है. <laughs> If you read the chapter, you will know मुझे पान पसंद नहीं. मैं लिख दिया clearly वहाँ पर. I don't. So like in my introduction, I'm very honest about it. That Haan. people and my friends have made a lot of fun of me because they said, "Is it like a fiction book you're writing?" Because <laughs> You don't eat sweet. <laughs> I said no. It's Haan. not about my love for sweet. Correct. Then it would be fiction. It's about <laughs> sweet of India. So it is that's based okay. based on real life incidents. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Perfect. Nice, Ashley. This was really awesome. Such Thank beautiful you. conversation. But we can continue with these things. Now we will part two. Line this. पार्ट टू में हम और लंबे लंबे गप्पे मारेंगे और भर भर गप्पे मारेंगे बुक के बारे में या फिर फूड के बारे में इन जनरल स्पेशली ऑन बंगाली क्यूजीन आई थिंक दे सो मच टॉक अबाउट बंगाली क्यूजीन या वी कैन गो ऑन ऑन कैलकुलेटर कैलकुलेटर क्यूजीन राइट देयर इज अ बुक व्हिच हैज कम आउट ऑफ द कॉल्ड आई एम लुकिंग बिहाइंड फॉर पीपल हु आर वाचिंग अस इन YouTube द बुक इज कॉल्ड अ टेस्ट ऑफ टाइम फूड हिस्ट्री ऑफ कैलकुलेटा ऑफ एट बाय हुम बाय मोहना कंजीलाल ओ आई पिक इट अप एंड सी इतनी मोटी बुक है बिल्कुल डम्बल काम आ जाएगी बट ऑन बंगाली के दिन सो नेक्स्ट आप वी विल हैव बंगाली के दिन में वापस से हम राजी को लेके आएंगे Please. Uh, so you all should also listen to the awful and awesome entertainment rap which uh, I co-host with Abhinandan on News Laundry. Okay. There'll be only digs at food and Abhinandan saying how he made the best food show in the world, but uh, you will get deep insights into pop culture. I'm very excited. There's been no rain over here, or something dark has just gone over my house because it suddenly became very dark. आप जान ही क्यों नहीं ले रहे हैं? न्योडा पे नहीं हो रहा है? कुछ नहीं हो रहा न्योडा पे. इतनी सारी मिठाइयों की बातें कर ली. अब आप बोल रहे हो बारिश होने वाला है. जान ही निकाल लो फिर तो क्या ही करना है? क्या करेंगे जिंदा रहके हम? But thank awesome. you so much for having me on. Nan And thank podcast. you for reading the book. थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर सेंडिंग द बुक मतलब मैं पढ़ते पढ़ते मुझे भूख लगी थी अगर बात करते करते भूख लग गई है तो आई एम गोइंग टू गो रियली एंड ऑर्डर सम मिठाई कुछ तो मीठा ऑर्डर करूंगा और एंड एवरीबडी एल्स दुकान करते हैं बंद इफ यू लाइक दिस पॉडकास्ट डोंट फोगेट टू चेक आउट अदर इंटरेस्टिंग पॉडकास्ट ऑन दी वी एम नेटवर्क यू कैन लिसन टू आस ऑन दी वी एम पॉडकास्ट एप और आई वी एम पॉडकास्ट डॉट कॉम यू कैन ऑल्सो फॉलो अस ऑन आर सोशल मीडिया We are at the rate IVM podcast on Twitter and Instagram. And if you want to reach out to me on Twitter, I am Hussain Sadaf one, and on Instagram, I am Sadaf underscore Hussain. You can reach out to Alchit on Twitter at the rate Band Tofu, and on Instagram at the rate The Hustling Glutton. There's a quick survey to fill out on ivmpodcast.com/survey. It lets us know a little bit more about who's listening to us, and you know what? We're gonna do a few prizes. So I mean, like, we'll do a random drawing of like maybe ten people, and we'll send you all some swag. Remember, that's ivmpodcast.com/survey where you can fill out the survey. Ladies, I'm sure you will relate to it if I say that we are constantly busy with work, studies, cooking, and what not. And amidst all of this, we often forget an important element that needs our desperate attention: finance. So here we are, bringing to you SBI Life presents a sip of finance, a women-exclusive podcast where we will teach you how to manage personal finances in a simple and straightforward way with your host Priyanka Acharya, a finance expert who's been in the industry for 14 plus years. And not just in English, but in seven more languages. So tune in every Tuesday for fresh episodes on the IBM Podcast Network and all major podcast streaming platforms.